everybody, it's Jay the Haitian Mogul here. I'm here with another video. Um, this video today, I'm actually going to show you guys this uh, new technique that I actually have been looking at. Um, I found out about it, just well, I found out about the, the name of it just last night, but I actually figured out how to make it work for me um, today. So I want to go ahead and show you guys exactly what it is that I've been doing. And it's really simple. Uh, it's basically just repurposing your content. Say, for example, if you're like me and you are on YouTube all the time and you make your YouTube videos. So every time you make a video, of course, it comes on YouTube and YouTube uses their own SEO algorithm to be able to get you more hits depending on what you actually do to the video. So say you have a catchy title, you have tags attached to it, you have a good description, have your links and also have your keywords and a good um, thumbnail, then YouTube will be able to rank a lot higher as well as getting those comments to come on your page, getting more subs, so on and so forth, which all those things come afterwards. So what I've been looking at is not only do I want my YouTube videos to actually be on YouTube and on my blog, but I also want to make sure that I can actually convert that video into text. So that way Google can also pick it up and use their own SEO algorithm to be able to rank my content higher as well. And also it'll be easier to be found by other people who are searching for that content if they're not on YouTube. So this would be a way of, as they call it, repurposing your content. Basically taking something that you already have done and revitalizing it and reusing it to a different format so that way you can get more engagement and more um, either subscribers and views, hits, whatever it is you plan on doing to it and actually be able to grow your presence when it comes to being online. So I'm actually gonna just jump into it right with you right quick. I'm gonna go first to my YouTube channel and show you exactly what it is that I did. Now, as you can see, this is my YouTube channel, right? And what I could possibly do, and what I would suggest for you guys to do, is to go to a video that gets a lot of hits on your page. Um, what I would do for me, I would start off with, I could say, I could start off with something like this, okay? So this is a, a post on my page that gets a lot of posts, I mean, a lot of hits, and I could actually repost this. Now, even though I believe I already have, I might already have this post, on my actual um, website, hey, my which I can actually here. search for to make moment, sure. To my office here at my home and oh. Let me go ahead and do that right quick. Uh, let's see. I was generating over 3,000 monthly leads. Because remember, I had my other site, um, but it was it had MCA in the name of the title of it. So MCA didn't like that so very much, so they told me to take it down. So I had basically had to start from scratch. So now, so now what, what, what I'm going to do is actually going to search to see if this is even up here so we'll go ahead and do do this i'll come back to that later okay that's what's supposed to come up i'll make another video for that as well later on um Alright, so now what I can do to search to make sure to see if I even have it in my post already. I can go to my post. And as I tell you guys before, you guys should definitely have a WordPress website. Um, WordPress is definitely great when it comes to setting up your um, when it comes to reaching people with through SEO. So we'll do three monthly MCA leads. So I do have this already up here, which is fine. So you see it's a video, okay? So I actually can view it right quick to see how that looks. And what I could do is if I really wanted to, I can make the same type of post, but make it to where it'll be um, just text and just change out my, um, 
just change out the title okay so here's the video or if you really wanted to you could also get the same the same post and I wouldn't say necessarily use the same type as far as th thumbnail goes but use the different title and also and then also go ahead and um, just re reword everything and but then use the same t that same text okay so now that we know that the, the post is already up here with the video which is what we want so go ahead and leave that up here uh, let me see you should be able to see how many views I got on this as well so 68 total since I've had it put on this site because when it was on my other site it had a whole lot more than that so what we want to do now is come up here and create another post Okay. And then what I will call this one would be you can always change out your titles, right? Titles, whatever post you want, the title can always be different. So what I would put is unlimited Craigslist leads via text message. So I'm gonna do sideline app. Right, we'll do sideline phone app. Okay, just like that. So now, what I would do is I would see, look at this video that I got up here. <clears throat> One of the things that you want to do, of course, is go to your video manager. Okay, we go to your video manager. And where I would do that at is if you have a uh, so your layout looks airline, like mine, then, then you would come up here, go to settings. If it doesn't, and it actually, I'll show you what the next preview would look like, because um, it would look like this starting off, and then of course you will get to this page right here. Now what I usually go to is to go to additional features, and then I go to video manager right here. Now if yours automatically has the channel this in this menu tab, then just go to video manager. And then from there, I would actually go through and search for that video. Now with some of these videos you can actually um, be able to get through to your page as far as like editing video. But I don't really like, because it takes me to the creator studio, which I'm not really a complete fan of as of right now. So obviously that I'll come back to later. So instead I'll just keep going down because I think it was December 2016 that I made that video. So I'll look for that. Here we go, right here. So now that you're here, you want to go to click on this arrow right here, go to subtitles and captions, close caption. We we'll do the default for new uploads, of course, English. Set the language. Okay. Now, what you also would do from there, what you can hear, you click over here. You see, it's um, it's in English, so you go to hit English for automatic. As you can see, okay, just from this, you can tell that this part right here is actually you can actually listen to it. And see the, the captions that was made from YouTube. Okay, this saves you a lot of work, by the way. So that way you don't have to go through and listen to your own video, pause and, and type, pause and type, or anything like that. This is actually already up here. And all you gotta do is listen, to, listen for the clip. And then you see with that, that will get you to change to leads. You know, all I would do is here, come up here, and I'll go to edit. So that way you can go ahead and edit these out. Right here, it says it says needs for leads. Boom, just like that, and then it gets and then it gets switched out. Okay, so then you can hear into it again. See that? And you can do the same thing. Well, 
sign up with Jim Lim. Whatever area code. Uh, okay, now that's that's that. So now as you can see that works. Now you can go through and, and basically go through the whole thing, which I would advise you to go through the whole video. Right? So now once you do that, when you come up here and then you go ahead and hit click actions and download All right? once you click download it's going to bring you this other format so that way you can download the whole subtitles all the, the captions in its entirety okay and you come up here and now for me what I would do uh, let's do publish edits let's do publish edits first of course I still got to go back and update mine so for say for example you're done right now that's pending. So I'll come up here and for the one that's actually published and actually finished pending. Um, come up here and before you actually, this is before you click the edit. So click actions. The, the, the download you want will be SRT. Okay, once you do that, then you download it to wherever you need it to. So mine's going to be on desktop just, to, just for the purpose of the video. Now, once I do that, then I come up here and I go to this link, which is called subtitletools.com. Once you do that, you're going to see it's going to say convert to, you want it to be convert to plain text. Okay? And we come up here, choose the file, go to the desktop again. Go to captions. Extract text. And then here it is. Once you see this, and it gives you the download option, it means you can download it. Download it the same place, and then we're going to upload the file so we can see what that looks like. Okay? And here it is. So now, what you would do. Is that I would take the same text, all this text right here, go to where you have just had want to create your new file, insert it here, of course make your adjustments because at the end of the day, even if it might take you a little time to put all this together, you want to make sure that you are actually, um, it's actually correct because what's going to happen happening is it's going to be up here forever. Once you put all your blogs up here forever. So you want to make sure that it's perfect how you want it. You have to put your punctuation where you want it to be. And put your, you can create a new thumbnail. Which I that's popular, I would just create a new thumbnail. And I probably might do the same image as this one, but then might be just say, um, text version or something like that. So that way people could know that, you know, this one they could actually read. So I would do that. And of course, you can add your, your, uh, keyword suggest, which I usually would do up here. Um, and how you can find leads and different things like that. Put your tags in, get your category set up. And pretty much after you do all of that, then you go ahead and publish your you publish it okay so um, that would be basically how you can convert your video into a blog post and repurpose your content so that way you can get more hits and get found more on Google so not only are you following on YouTube but you also be found more on Google and also it can revert back to your actual YouTube page um, if you want I would suggest go ahead and reuse the thumbnail but add something to it so people will know that it's not the same post it's the same, it might be the same post, but it's a different version of it. So hopefully this helps you guys understand that. I'm actually going to go ahead and save mine as a draft right now. Because obviously I need to make some edits to it. But once I do that, you'll see that on my my blog as well. Make sure you sign up for that. It's thehaitianmogul.com slash training. And you'll see that um, the way you can sign up for that. And I will have more videos coming up for you guys so you guys can check out. If you have any questions for me, let me know at the bottom and leave us some comments. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Right? I really appreciate it. You guys have a great day.